Now, moving on. If you weren't already aware, there was a candidate forum put on by the Sanders County Republican Central Committee and held for the Republican sheriff candidates last Wednesday that looked to help voters choose the right Republican for the upcoming primary. Let's listen to these candidates' closing statements as they explain in their own words why they should get your vote to be sheriff of Sanders County. We've had a lot of questions today and post certification. Just so you guys know, I was post certified. I was Arizona post certified. I was Alia WAC certified, which is Arizona law enforcement officer. So post certification, I have that. The only thing I need to do here in the state of Montana is attend the law section and then take a challenge test to go ahead and get my certification. There's a program already for uh, the sheriffs who, that they go through for the post certification. I just believe if you want to see a change in the sheriff's office and you want to see a positive change where it gets returned to the, the citizens of Sanders County where you have a say in what happens in your sheriff's office, then you want to look to voting for someone like me. A person that's, that is um, going to return to a community-based philosophy of law enforcement where you, the people of the county, help me understand what our priorities are and how we should enforce in our county. And then once we take that, this is something that's been around for 20 years, guys. I participated in it at the city of Scottsdale. It's, it's a recognized law enforcement philosophy, and we can have it here in our county and do more for the county with your help and with the help of programs like the reserve program and looking to the um, resident deputy programs. They all come into being community focused and returning the sheriff's office back into the community, listening to the people, and responding to the people in a positive manner with your help, not working against you. Together, we will have a strong sheriff's office if we're working in cooperation, and that's what I offer to you as the citizens of Sanders County. Experience in law enforcement, experience in the private sector. I have an education that, you know, before I even started it, of looking at the whole picture as a public program from the Arizona State University. I've been serving my community for all of my adult life. Don't look at just what's happened in the last year with candidates. Look at how they serve their communities all the way through their entire life. And I have, through law enforcement, through the fire department, through different charities throughout the community, have given back to my community. And I want to give back to you as the community, as your sheriff, and bring in some ideas and things that have been going on for 20 years now that our sheriff's office has never tried. They've been proven. That is a strength. Me being from outside the county coming in here with ideas that have been tried and proven saves you money because we're not going down the wrong road. So I do ask for your vote if you're in June and then if, if make it through the primary, I would like to have your votes come November. And I appreciate you guys taking the time to come here tonight. Thank you. Well, I really wasn't prepared for closing comments. I'm more for opening ones. But, uh, I uh, I'm going to be here for quite some time. I don't plan on going anywhere. Uh, this law enforcement came along in my life at a point when uh, uh, I got into this in the reserve deputy program, about the third class. I came home and I told Shelly, I said, I smell a job here. Okay. Uh, I enjoy it. I enjoy working with people. I think the sheriff has to enjoy people. Anybody in law enforcement has to. I think uh, law enforcement, uh, the approach from the sheriff's side uh, is a matter of honesty and integrity and accountability to the people. At any given moment, any one of you should be able to ask the sheriff, where's this, how's this going, what is the budget like, what is going on with this, and the sheriff ought to be able to say, this is it, I will show you. I've got an open book for that. Unless, of course, it's confidentiality on a case, then it isn't discussed. Um, I do believe that uh, the economy and the coming five years are going to be very interesting. I think you approach the budget with a heads-up, hands-on approach, much like you would your own, your own uh, budget, your household budget. Uh, you've got to realize that the money you're playing with does not belong to you. It belongs to you people out there. And that's back to the accountability issue. I think you need, as a sheriff, you have to be, um, you can't be closed-minded as to decisions. You have 
uh, our county, our current county commissioners have been very good to the existing sheriff's office. <clears throat> There's a very good working relationship there, and I'd like to maintain that. Uh, I believe that it is an effort uh, between the sheriff and his undersheriff and his administrator and county uh, commissioners uh, as far as the budget issues go, as far as the uh, law enforcement issue and the prosecution of cases, the county attorney and the sheriff better be looking eyeball to eyeball. They got to be on a first name basis and uh, ready to be answerable to you people about what's going on with these cases. So um, it's a it's a large it's an accumulation of a lot of things. Uh, the learning curve. Should I be elected? Yes, it's going to go like this. But it's nothing that I can handle. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for turning up tonight, and <clears throat> thank you, whoever you are, for being the overqualified uh, attendee tonight <laughs> with all the questions. That's what it's going to take, is somebody asking questions of us to get us aware that there is a question out there of events that are going on or circumstances. We have to do that. In summary tonight, I would like to give you a little broader idea of who I am. I come from a matriarchal society. I was taught as a very young man to go into these mountains and know what I was doing, where I'd never been before. I was, there was five children in the family. Out of that, five plus one individual outfitting businesses survived here for years. That in itself is not ironic, except that my father was a non-hunter. One person taught every one of us boys how to be professionals, and that was Woods, and that was my mother. <clears throat> and I'd like to tell her thanks. But anyway, getting back away from that, I was a director as a result of that. I was a director in the Sanders County Search and Rescue for some years. I bring that knowledge of these mountains and the, and the searches, the uh, uh, behavior of people in the mountains. I might bring, as a, as a single candidate, more to this session here tonight of knowledge in that mountains than any man that you can find. Possibly it's been said. 48 years, 90 days a year. 12 years every day of the year. That's a lot of experience. Anything happens out in those mountains, I think I've got a handle on it. I got, I'm in touch with it. From that, I also served as senior director for 660 outfitters in the state of Montana. I got up to senior director on their board of directors. The budgetary matters flowed through me, as well as these directors. For a multi-million dollar contribution to the state of Montana, that industry contributed multi-millions of dollars to the state. I think I can handle the money, I think I can handle the responsibilities off of the highway of knowing what's going on. I think I can sit down as sheriff, represent every one of your issues well. I remember what it's like to, to wonder if mine were represented well. 30 seconds. I know for a fact that nobody, no thing has a right to tread on your God-given rights, inalienable rights. I will be there for you, every one of you, every time that you feel you bet you call a cop, you're going to get a cop. Thank you. And I want to thank everyone for showing up tonight. I especially want to thank the candidates for coming out tonight, giving some fresh, direct, and honest answers on the many questions. I understand you'll probably stick around for a little while if anybody has some more personal questions they'd like to ask. And if there's nothing else, uh, the forum is officially closed. That was some good footage. So uh, do you know who you're going to vote for? I sure do. Who's that? Well, I'm, I'm not telling. Why not? Well, it's like a birthday wish. I mean, if, if you say it out loud, it might not come true. Is that why you didn't win the mayor race? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs>